You know, for uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,300 years, there has been this argument between poet and intellectual. It started with Plato, when Plato uh, banned poets from the ideal republic. That's where it started. Uh, this all fascinates me in some strange and wonderful ways. Uh, I'm a poet. My oldest brother, patriarch of the family, is a supreme intellectual. Huh. The poem is called Tensions. Tensions. A close friend, the famous teacher, classroom showman and restless Faustian thinker, delights in telling the homey fact of how a peasant of the steppes can build, plane, plumb a house with the Russian traditional axe. Hold in hand that splendid tool and discover working perfection itself. Shortened shaft designed to counterweigh the broad heavy head with edge made to bring a tree from forest to board. He tells too of how his Volga Basin friends point out to him his frequent visits speak of one in search of mother country. But he is an intellectual, and so in our body-soul conversations I tend to give him slack lines since that taut tension, such a matrix, cannot be split. Myself now, a deep forest dweller. The need is to keep several axes. By far my favorite is the twin blade head given as a gift by this famous friend, and for kindling cut it is perfect. Hickory and handle, light enough to wield in one hand while turning sweet cedar, fir, or hemlock on the straight lathe of chopping block. Then there is how the double-edged curves like Cretan wings is tempered, seems blue, and that the proximity comes when working through the fibrous wood one side to split in quick, clean motion, while the other keeps trained in close back swing, on right eye like the butterfly who wings her way immediate, persistent. There is also what happens in autumn. Then she shows what it means to flutter. Okay.